This is question number 10, part B from winter 2018, um, variant paper 4, variant 2 of the IGCSE um, exam. And this question here is about a solid metal cone, has a radius of 10 centimeters and a height of 36 centimeters. We've got to calculate the volume of this cone, and they gave us a formula for the volume, so that's pretty simple. I have to just plug in the values. Okay, so the volume is equal to a third, as I told us, times pi, times r squared, times h. So you'll have a third times pi, which we'll use a calculator value for, times r squared, which is going to be 10 squared, times h, which is 36. Make sure that the, the dimension here is the radius, not the diameter. It's the radius, so that's fine. Okay, so you've got a third times, well, third times 36 will give us 12. 12 times uh, 10 squared is going to be 1200 pi. So you've got 1200 pi. Okay, that's an exact form. And it's important to write it in this exact form before you round it to 3 or 7 because we might need to use that value again in another part of the question. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my 1200 pi. I'll write it as 1200 pi. And then I'll press STD and it gives me 3769.911. Three thousand seven hundred and sixty-nine point. What was it? Nine one one. And continue on. Now we should round our answers to three significant figures. So we must stop at this point here. So you have three, seven. Now that six is going to turn to a seven, and we have to fill in the rest until the decimal point with zero. So it's three thousand seven hundred and seventy centimeters cubed, and that's the answer to part one. Okay, but I've written it in this pi form because that makes life easier for later questions that's more exact form. Okay, so now, question part B. It says, the cone is cut parallel to its base. So this is the same cone as above, whose volume we have in its exact form over there. To give a smaller cone, the volume of the smaller cone is half the volume of the original cone. Okay, so that you've got the smaller cone and you've got the original cone. The original cone. And the volume of the smaller cone is a half of the volume of the original cone. The smaller cone is melted down to make two spheres. The ratio of the radii of the two spheres is 1 to 2. Okay. So now, calculate the radius of the sphere. Whoops. So, what happened there? Okay, so we have the smaller cone and the bigger cone. Okay, so it's cut. And the ratio of the smaller cone, or sorry, the volume of the smaller cone is half the volume of the original cone. Okay, so that means this, the volume of the smaller cone is going to be 1200 pi divided by 2, which gives me 600, 600 pi. Okay, that's the volume of the smaller cone. Now, we're asked, we're told that the, the, the smaller cone is melted down to make two different spheres. The ratio of the radii of these spheres is 1 to 2. Now, if the ratio of the radii of these spheres is 1 to 2, okay, the radii is like a length, that means the ratio of the volumes of these two spheres is going to be the cube of 1 to 2. The ratio of the volumes is always the cube of the ratio of the lengths. So the ratio of the volumes is going to be 1 to 8. Okay, so we want to find the radius of the smaller sphere. So let's find first the volume of the smaller sphere. So the volume of the smaller sphere is going to be 1 over 9 times the volume of the the, the 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 sphere or the sorry the volume of the cone that was cut into two okay call it the cone that was cut into two all right so you got 1 9th times 600 pi why is it 1 9th because it's it's divided in terms of the volumes in the ratio of 1 to 8 so there's nine parts altogether 1 plus 8 Okay, 1 plus 8 gives us 9 parts, and this takes up one part of, part, one part of it. So the, the volume, the ratio of the volumes of the spheres is 1 to 8. So the volume of the smaller sphere is 600 pi over 9. 600 pi over 9, which if you simplify that, that will give us 200 pi over 3 centimeters cubed. Now... What we have to deal with now is the fact, all right, that um, 
the volume of a sphere is given by 4 over 3 pi r cubed, as they tell us here. So the volume of this sphere, which is the sphere which has one half, or, or where, where the sphere was um, the smaller cone, which was cut down to make two different spheres, okay, whose uh, ratio is one to two in terms of the radii. So the volume of this sphere, which we found, okay, um, to be 200 pi over three. Okay, if we equate that to 200, to the, the equation of the volume of the sphere, we'll be able to find the radius, okay? So here we got four over three pi r cubed equals 200 pi over three. Well, multiply both sides by three, the cancel, the threes cancel, um, divide both sides by pi, the pi's cancel, divide both sides by four, the fours cancel, you're left with 50, so you've got r cubed equals 50. So r will give you the square root, or given by the square root of 50. Okay, now the square root of 50, the square root of 50 is equal to, whoops, not the square root, the cube root, I mean. I wrote the cube root and I said the square root. The cube root of 50 is equal to 3.6840. So 3.6840, let me just verify that. 3.6840, yes, continuing on. Okay, so we have to round our answer. It didn't tell us anything, so we should round it to 3SF. So you have 3.68 centimeters, three significant figures. And there we have the answer to this question.